What's going on Aurora Alliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the This Is Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer and what we learned about customization from that. Before we get fully into this video, let me know down in the comment section below what you would like to see from customization in Star Wars Battlefront 2 and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with Battlefront 2 content. But now let's get into the topic of this video. So what did we actually see customization wise in the This Is Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer? So as we already knew and as the trailer told us once again, everything you play as in Star Wars Battlefront 2 can be customised, whether that's through skins, star cards or even weapon attachments. In the This Is Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer, we got to see loot boxes, class, vehicle, hero and reinforcement star cards, hero skins and crafting, which allows you to manually upgrade your star cards rather than finding them in loot boxes. One thing that stood out to me was the sheer amount of customization that can be done with star cards in Battlefront 2 for every class, reinforcement, hero and vehicle. Each one of those has its own set of unique star cards which you can use to customise how that class, reinforcement, hero or vehicle actually plays within the game, meaning you can play exactly how you want to in Battlefront 2. This is a pretty in-depth customizable system which we have never seen before in a Star Wars Battlefront game. Like I mentioned at the start of this video as well, you can not only customize your class, but you can customize the weapons of your class by using weapon attachments which can be earned I imagine through challenges and definitely through loot boxes. The weapon attachments you can use in Star Wars Battlefront 2 completely change how your weapon actually works which again helps you customise the playstyle of that class to exactly how you want it to feel and play in Battlefront 2. Not one class is set in its own playstyle, like I said, the playstyle of a class can be changed by using weapon attachments. Every star card in Battlefront 2 as well has its own level or rarity which can be shown by the bar above the star card which can be seen in the image on screen now. At the moment, it looks like it's going to be very hard to tell the difference between a level 2 star card and a level 4 star card if you just look at it quickly because the colours are pretty much exactly the same. So I do hope they change how you can actually tell the difference between the levels of the star cards when the game launches in November. Once you have a star card of any level in Battlefront 2 for your class, vehicle, hero or reinforcement, you can try to unlock the level above that star card that you have by opening loot crates by using microtransactions and real world money or credits you earn from playing matches and completing challenges within Battlefront 2. Or you can simply craft the next level of star card by using crafting points which you earn from crates or duplicate star cards that you earn from crates as well. And what I mean by that is that duplicate star cards that you earn will be automatically crafted down into crafting parts rather than you having two of exactly the same star card, which I think is really cool and helpful. So the class on screen has a thermal detonator of level 1 and 20 crafting parts. Those crafting parts can then be used to upgrade the thermal detonator to a level 2 star card. It's a really cool system which will allow you to upgrade star cards straight away that you really like using, rather than waiting until you find them in crates. But now let's get on to hero skins, which is something everybody wants to see return in Star Wars Battlefront 2. In the This Is Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer, we get to see two new hero skins we haven't seen before in the EA Star Wars Battlefront series. We get to see Han Solo in his A New Hope outfit, or his vest outfit which it's known otherwise, which looks seriously cool, and I'm really glad that Han Solo's classic original look is going to be in Battlefront 2 rather than the jacket outfit which we got as default in EA and Dice's first Battlefront game. It's also cool to see that we will be getting numerous hero outfits for heroes in Battlefront 2. The second hero outfit we get to see in the This Is Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer is Leia in her comic book outfit, which can be seen briefly on screen throughout the trailer. It's cool to see that there might be outfits for heroes outside of the Star Wars movies in Battlefront 2 and I really hope we see more hero skins and outfits in Battlefront 2 when the game releases this November. 
So that is all of the customization information that I managed to get from the This Is Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer. If I've missed anything, make sure to let me know down in the comments section below what I have missed and let me know what customization you would like to see in Battlefront 2. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to smash a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance and be kept up to date with all Battlefront 2 content and other Star Wars games. Other than that, may the Force be with you.